Hi, welcome to another video. So, there's a new model by Mistral that is called DevStral. This model was released on the same day as Google's I.O. event, which killed its hype. But I've been using this model a bit, and I really like it. So, let's talk about this. DevStral is an open weights model, and it is built under a collaboration between Mistral AI and All Hands AI. All Hands is the Open Devon project, and I have tried to use that in some of my previous videos, but it's really bad and doesn't work half of the time. But that doesn't matter here. Apparently, it outperforms all open source models on SWE Bench Verified by a large margin. They have released DevStral under the Apache 2.0 license. It sits above the DeepSeq V3 model on SWE bench tasks while being super low cost to run, which is quite amazing. Basically, they say that they achieve this by specifically training the model to handle agentic code super well, which is what most of the local models struggle with. Even DeepSeek struggles with tool calls, but DevStral is specifically trained on that in order to make it super good. It scores above Claude 3.5 Haiku, GPT, 4.1 Mini, as well as other models, which is pretty good. It is only a 24 billion parameter model and is light enough to run on a single RTX 4090 or a Mac with 32 gigs of RAM. It has about a 128K context window. I would have probably liked a 1 million token context window, so I won't complain. Though, I have seen that the 128K context window is actually quite good. Like, it almost always knows about some older messages that are within the window, which is quite awesome. If you use it via the API, then it costs somewhere around 10 cents per million input tokens and 30 cents per million output tokens, which is really cheap, especially if you're using it for simple stuff that requires multiple reliable tool calls and such. There's also a free tier of Mitral's API as well that will allow you to use it for free. And the free tier seems to be super generous because it gives you about one request per second, along with 500k tokens per minute and about 1 billion tokens per month as well, which is quite awesome. Anyway, you can find it on Olama and Hugging Face as well and you can download and use it locally as well. There's also the free endpoint for it on Open Router if you do wish to use that. So, using it is simple. You can go to RuCode or Klein and set it up over there, or you can also use KyloCode to do that. And you will also get free $20 credit there in order to give it a try. Or you can also use it with Olama and stuff locally if you wish to do that as well. Anyway, you can now start using it, and it is actually one of the models that works extremely well with RuCode and Klein because of it being specifically trained on agentic tasks. I'm asking it to make me a simple Minesweeper game, and this is actually a question that none of the local models except GLM is able to do. In just a bit, you'll see that it starts to do the agentic stuff and create files and everything which is great. In just a bit, it gets done. And if we run this, then this looks pretty good, and it actually works, which is awesome. Now, there are some issues with this model. For example, although the model is super reliable, unlike any local model that I have seen, the model doesn't style the components as much as something like GLM does. It is super prompt adherent. So, there are some things that I would want you to do, which is, first of all, having a rules file. A rules file is something that you should always have for this model. I always ask it to use shad cn, tailwind, and style components minimally. It should always maintain a task list and use that accordingly to implement all tasks. I can also use Taskmaster, but it can become a hassle at times. So, 
you can just ask it to maintain a high-level task file and use that. Don't use memory bank with this model because it can become too lengthy of a process. I also ask it to search for documentation through Context 7 MCP server. Another major thing that I ask it to do is to search for stuff on the internet when it thinks that it should with Firecrawl, and it can also scrape any URL if given to it. I use Firecrawl because it is super easy to use and doesn't bog down your system. Plus, it has a ton of features that just make it super good. Like, it can gather clean data from all accessible subpages, even without a sitemap. It can parse and output content from web-hosted PDFs and more. It also intelligently waits for content to load, making scraping faster and more reliable. Plus, it can click, scroll, write, wait, press, and more before extracting content. It can also supply the screenshot of websites to the LLM for even better site replication and stuff like that. It has an MCP server that I will be using in this case, and it has a free plan with 500 credits. It also has a $16 and other higher tier plans if you do need them. For now, the free plan should be totally amazing. Anyway, to set it up, just get signed up there and then copy the Firecrawl API key. Then head on over to the MCP server settings of RuCode or KiloCode or Klein, and then just copy the MCP server settings, paste it there, and also paste in your API key, and it should now work. So, now with all these rules, I can ask it to make me a new Minesweeper game, and I also would like for it to search the internet and bring me some cool styles into the game. You'll see that it will do that. It will go ahead and use the MCP servers, include Firecrawl, Context 7, and everything, and then it will just get that done. In just a bit, it is now finished, and here's how it looks. It looks pretty awesome, and better than the previous iteration. These simple things make it extremely better. This is better than GLM, at least in how much I have used it, and this will be amazingly good for you guys to use when you don't have internet or don't want to share some confidential code or something like that. The small coding models are really good because they make agentic coding and stuff much more secure and private if you need that. I really liked this model and thought to talk about it because this model is extremely good. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.